Hi everyone, Paolo here, so welcome back to just another dang how to channel where I talk about subjects from web, Swift, Salesforce, and just recently game development. So on this video, we're going to learn how to use Quixel Bridge on your Unreal Engine project. So what is Quixel Bridge? So it's an engine plugin that comes installed inside the editor. Uh, it's only available on Unreal Engine 5. Um, you use it to access Megascans libraries and browse collections. So on this collection, you could look for specific assets that you want to add to your Unreal Engine project. And it's completely free. Uh, it's part of your content license agreement when you uh, signed up uh, with an Epic Games account. And as per the EULA, as long as the end product is in Unreal Engine, you may use the assets on the Unreal Engine plan for commercial projects. And so to get started, uh, let's go create new project. Cool. So let's start with a blank project. I'm going to go on the games. Um, I want the starter content. So I'm going to say quick so demo here. Select that. Hit create. For some reason, the starter project didn't get included on this one. Um, let me see if I could easily add it. Uh, yep, so go under content and click on add the project. And cancel. And under maps, I should have a minimal default there you go cool so when you first start a project uh, if you click on the get content here um, you would see there's chance for a pixel bridge if you click on that um, it would prompt you that the web browser plugin is not enabled please enable it in the plugin manager to use the bridge so by default it's not enabled so under edit go under plugins under search, search for web browser and simply enable this plugin by clicking that tick button. It's going to prompt you to restart the project. Go ahead and restart. So once it's restarted, go back to get content there and click on Quixel Bridge and it should open up this um, window, this inline browser. So you need to sign in to start um, downloading items here. So you click here on this icon here, uh, sign in with your uh, Epic Games account or whichever account you use to sign in with. So by default, if I click here on the prefer on the uh, profile here, uh, there's a preference here. So by default, it would save the downloads on your Mega Scan Documents folder. Um, if you want to change it to another directory, uh, just update this path to where you want to save it. So I already saved mine to a different path, and. Let's inspect this. So here you have the home menu. Uh, you have access to the 3D assets. And from here, you could grab any of these assets and add them to your project. There's two ways you could add it to your project. You could drag and drop it. Um, let me go under props here, under books, and minimize this a little bit, make it smaller. and. This one way to do it, you could grab the item and place it inside your project and that should download it and um, there's some snapping there. Let me remove that snap so I can move the book. So there you go. So I'm able to add that asset to drag and drop uh, like that. If I open the content browser you would see there, there's a mega scan folder created here, which include the 3D asset. Inside the 3D asset, you would have the instance of that material and some static mesh, texture, um, normal map, and 
another um, map cool and uh, on under ms presets this is where the actual uh, material is located to build that uh, particular instance cool so another way to let's add another book so let me open let me close this plugin and open this and instead of clicking drag and dropping you could click on download you have the options to download the quality of the asset so for um, particular assets 3d assets um, you could download up to the highest uh, this is for 3d projects up to the highest but for particular 3d assets uh, there's an option to download nanite which is doesn't currently work on this mac machine but it only works on DirectX. so once you click on download there you could click on add and immediately it would uh, show on your content browser so this was the original book this is the other book so i could minimize this a little bit move some windows around and i could drag and drop from the content browser to um to my project so there you go so that's how you use it for uh drag and drop let's go back to content browser uh to pixel here instead of selecting 3d asset uh, let's go under collection so under collection you would see uh, there's environments here um, I want to go let's go industrial and when you open industrial you would see it's a collection of um, materials some props that you could use in your project so I want to grab this particular tarp and I want to apply it to my floor on this project so one way to do that is you could drag and drop mm, let me close this content browser open that and apply no that didn't work so let me close that let me delete that content and open it from the content door you will see now there's a surface in here and oops I could drag this surface control tab there you go so that changed the layout of my floor I could go into that particular material double click on it and I could adjust some of the uh, properties, the parameters of that material. So I could uh, enable some of these and change the settings. So each material has uh, their corresponding uh, setting. So if you don't want the change that you did, you just go back and reset it. And you could disable those. So um then let's go back to content browser and let's drag some other items in here cool uh, let's inspect that particular asset and you would see uh under quality here there's an option for nanite but that doesn't currently work so we can only go as high as high quality cool so that is the basics of it um, pretty straightforward to use um, just get some uh, assets from the quixel uh, pro uh, app and start adding them to your project so hope you like this first tutorial that i have uh, if you have some questions, if you have some tips for me, uh, please leave them on the comments below. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.